At the heart of today's political unrest lies a profound mental and moral conflict. Tucker Carlson's perspective, which resonates with the audience's fears and their yearning for clarity and purpose, brings this to light. And the second thing I was reminded of, and I've been thinking about this for the last 15 months since I spoke at Heritage's 50th anniversary, which was the beginning of a total change in the way that I see the world, is that this is not ultimately political. This is much deeper. And, and I think what happened on Saturday, the, the assassination attempt against President Trump, reminded a lot of people of this or awakened a lot of people to this. There is a spiritual battle underway. There is no logical way to understand what we're seeing now in temporal terms. You just can't. These are not political divides. There are forces, and they're very obvious now, they've decided for whatever reason to take off the mask, whose only goal is chaos, violence, destruction. And there are the rest of us who, once again, are not always certain we're right, but we know that that's bad, and we're against that. Sort of standing watching, thinking, is someone going to explain to me why this is politics? This is not politics at all. This is much deeper and older and more recognizable than that. This has been going on since the beginning of time. And I do think, by the way, that the more literal among us, and I would count myself in that category, fail to see this because we're so desperate to ascribe some kind of recognizable human motive to what we're seeing. So we call it leftism or neoliberalism or communism or anarchism. We come up with some phrase to describe it, but those phrases are inadequate. They do not describe what's actually happening. So what you're seeing now is really not at all different in substance from what you saw in 1789 in France, from what you saw in 1936 in Spain, from what you saw in 1917 in Russia, from what you saw in 1975 in Phnom Penh. It's all the same. Tucker Carlson's comments reflect a deeper metaphysical struggle between good and evil. He asserts that the current political turmoil transcends typical disputes and enters the realm of spiritual warfare. This aligns with conservative values that stress the importance of upholding moral and ethical standards. Rooted in beliefs that go beyond mere politics, it highlights individual authenticity and the search for meaning in a chaotic world. Carlson's remarks, viewing the attempt on Donald Trump's life, as part of a larger mental conflict, acknowledge the grave crisis facing both individuals and society. His call to recognize deeper and eternal powers suggests that true understanding and meaning can only be achieved by looking beyond superficial political issues. The psychological impact of Carlson's framing on his audience is significant. His emphasis on spiritual warfare taps into deep-seated fears and anxieties about social collapse and moral decay. By portraying the conflict as an ongoing historical struggle between chaos and order, Carlson offers clarity and a sense of purpose, linking the current situation to a broader, almost mythical narrative of good versus evil. This approach provides psychological stability by clearly defining allies and enemies in a tumultuous political landscape. Public reaction to Carlson's remarks reveals widespread social concern about the integrity and stability of institutions. For his supporters, Carlson's interpretation of events as part of a spiritual battle reinforces existing beliefs and strengthens their resolve against perceived threats. Critics, however, may view his comments as overly dramatic or conspiratorial potentially deepening political polarization. Tucker Carlson's effectiveness as a communicator lies in his ability to unite supporters and shape public awareness. By framing current events within a larger historical context, he mobilizes and energizes his audience, providing them with a sense of mission and urgency. This type of communication is crucial for building strong, cohesive movements that feel connected to a greater purpose.